Hey everyone, I just saw Jordan Peele's movie Get Out, starring Daniel K. and Allison Williams as an interracial couple. He, um, black male, she white female. And they were going to her parents for the first time. And he basically says, so did you tell your folks that I'm black? And she says, well, no, I don't think that'll make any difference to them. <laughs> And they go, and the parents at first are okay, you know, just like the guys like, oh yeah, Obama, I would, I would have voted for Obama for third term and all that stuff, right? And then it progressively gets creepy. I mean, really creepy. Okay, I mean, like what happens is that <laughs> they have this family reunion, and prior to that, the, the folks come in, and one of the sisters or something looks at Chris, played by Daniel and starts feeling him up and then in front of his girlfriend says is it true what they say about you know black guys right <laughs> and it basically degenerates into this situation where it turns out the girl's family is infatuated with black dudes and black folks but the way that they get and so what happens is that Chris wants to leave. He goes, let's get out of here. And she goes, I'm trying to find the keys. I'm trying to find the keys. And she's really slow about it, right? And so finally, the brother, who's this like whack job, just says, well, you know, you can't leave, okay? And um, Chris is saying, Rose, give me the keys. Give me the keys now. And she goes, she just flips out and she goes, no, I can't do that. You know, I can't do that. It turns out that he was not by far the first black guy she'd ever dated. In fact, she is basically finding black guys online she would like type in ncaa prospects right and basically try to set up dates with them and bring them home and they would become these uh, they would become lobotomized they would become basically zombies it was in so he the mother hypnotizes them and anyway chris had figured out how to just sort of play sleep because what they were gonna do is take his eyes and do an operation on him. He knocked out the brother, got out, and while this is going on, his friend, who, best friend who works as a TSA agent, tells the cops. The cops like don't believe the story. They're laughing like, "Oh, those white girls!" <laughs> and um, it turns out that so he figures out on his own, "Hey, I better go up there." So just as Chris is getting out there, he basically has to kill his way out. Might winds up killing the family, sadly. Um, and the girl is like, oh, Chris, you know, and he tries to choke her and he's like, oh, just as he's just kind of thinks I can't do this. Right. And she's laughing. This police car comes up and you think, oh, shoot. Okay. Black guy choking white girl. He's toast. And she's like, oh, help me. And it turns out to be his friend. And he now during the as the movie is going he's telling his friend hey you know you better he's telling Chris you better get out of there man that sounds like some slex slaves she like they like, 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 trap they trap black people and they use them as slex slaves I know it sounds crazy so at the end of the movie he goes he just kind of pauses for a long time and he goes see I told you <laughs> great movie uh, a lot of social commentary uh, there's so many layers to this I'm going to do another video about it but you, you got to see get out it really is a great movie